Hello, what is going on guys? So we're back. Uh, let me just turn this back down. We're time to jump into blue, which is my favorite color. And I'm very excited to look at these cards. They all look really depressing. It's time to get toxic. So first up we have Aspirant's Ascent. It's one blue for an instant uh, until end of turn, target creature gets plus one, plus three, gains flying and toxic one. This is going to be a massive, massive card in both limited and constructed. Um, this is, you know, going to replace fading hope in a lot of uh, instances where, you know, something gets blocked and you just lift it up over top add some uh, toxic to your creature and i think this is going to be really great i'm really glad it doesn't have hex proof on this because then it would be absolutely busted but for now it's just toxic sorry i had a little bit of a pop there uh next up we've got atmosphere surgeon so the blue layer of new phyrexia is very dingy not dingy it's very laboratory it's very metallic it's very oily um and this is obviously represented in all of the art so far like there's lots of blacks and blue dark blues um atmosphere surgeon is one in a blue for a 2-1 phyrexian wizard creature with whenever you cast a non-creature spell put an oil counter on atmosphere surgeon you can remove an oil counter from Atmosphere Surgeon. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. So that's pretty fun. Um, more ways to give things flying. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Next up, we've got Blade of Shared Souls. Two and a one for an artifact equipment with four Mirrodin. So you get a 2-2 two -two red rebel creature token. Whenever Blade of Shared Souls becomes attached to a creature, for as long as Blade of Shared Souls remains attached to it, you may have that creature become a copy of another target creature you control. So this um, this really gets the, the train rolling. If you've got something really impressive on the battlefield that's not legendary because this doesn't skirt the legendary rule, um, then your 2-2 two -two red rebel creature token becomes a copy of that thing as long as Blade of Shared Souls is attached to it. As someone who's playing um, an Atrata deck right now in Modern, uh, I love making copies of things, but this does not help uh, in our current situation because it doesn't skirt the legendary rule, like I said, uh, but th these kind of things are fun. And then it's got an equip cost of two. You know, blue doesn't have a lot of really powerful equipment usually. Uh, so this is a fun way to kind of inject a little bit of blue personality into a piece of equipment. I like it. Then we've got blue sun's twilight. So we're onto the sun's twilight for blue already. It is X blue blue and it's sorcery. Gain control of target creature with mana value X or less. If X or is five or more, create a token that's a copy of that creature. So you get uh, to make tokens or control something that someone else has that you want. I think that's a lot of fun. Do I think this is as powerful as the white version? I do not. Um, but I do think that... Um, you know, if you pay five or more for that X cost, then you get two versions of it. And this isn't till end of turn either. You just get to gain control of it. So that's forever. So, may so maybe it is probably at par, maybe just a little bit below the white version. For now, I've got white at S tier. This is definitely A tier. Then we've got Bring the Ending, one and a white for an instant. Counter target spell, unless it's controller plays two. And Corrupted, counter that spell instead if its controller has three or more poison counters. This is a fantastic example of Corrupted done right. Um, 
A two mana counter target spell unless it's controller pays two is something that we've seen before. Make Disappear is probably one of the most powerful and popular counter magic spells in Magic the Gathering, especially in Standard. Um, every blue deck, every control deck has multiple copies of Make Disappear, and that is the exact same thing except for now they've added corrupted on top of it so if your opponent already has three or more poison counters on it it's just a two mana counter target spell card and i think that's very powerful i love this card i'm gonna try not to say i love this card for every blue card we look at because that's toxic um but i love blue so i get excited about blue cards uh sue me next up we've got chrome prowler look at this cute cat Two and a blue for a 3-2 a Phyrexian cat artifact creature with flash. When Chrome Prowler enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That's pretty good. I don't mind that at all. Um, going to be very powerful in limited. I don't know if it's going to make the cut in standard, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Next up, we've got Distorted Curiosity. Now we've got jace who's who gets completed unfortunately sorry spoilers um two and a blue for a sorcery with corrupted this spell costs two less to cast if an opponent has three or more poison counters uh so it could be a one mana draw two cards which is very powerful i think this is going in every blue deck um in constructed I think that's fantastic. Now, next up, we've got Encroaching Mycos Mycosynth. I kept, I wanted to call it Microsynth. Mycosynth. Three and a blue for an artifact. Non-permanents you control are artifacts in addition to their other types. Perfect. The same is true for permanent spells you control and non-land permanent cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. So permanents you control on the battlefield and permanents you control elsewhere are all artifacts in addition to their other types. Very cool. Uh, escaped Experiment. One and a blue for a 2-1 Phyrexian Beast artifact creature. Whenever Escaped Experiment attacks, target creature and opponent controls gets minus X minus zero until end of turn, where X is the number of artifacts you control. That's not bad. This is a limited card for sure. I don't think it's going to make the cut in Constructed, but uh, in Limited, this is going to be pretty good little pickup next up we've got experimental augury so the blue phase the blue floor in new phyrexia is all about experimenting research science experiments uh, this one is one and a blue for an instant look at the top three cards of your library put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order and then proliferate that's very good two mana scry three draw one proliferate that is a very good card eye of malkator malkator two and a blue for an artifact when eye of malkator enters the battlefield scry two that's not bad for three mana that's actually not good at all whenever another artifact enters the battlefield under your control eye of malkator becomes a four four phyrexian eye artifact creature until end of turn so you can turn this uh, artifact into a creature. That's not bad, actually. Next up, we've got Font of Progress. One blue for an artifact. Font of Progress enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. Pay three. Tap Font of Progress. Target player mills X cards, where X is the number of oil counters on Font of Progress. So using Proliferate, you can lift that number of oil counters up uh, as high as you can. And then your opponent or yourself can mill X cards. Uh, Gataxian uh, Anatomist. Three and a blue for a 2-5 Phyrexian Wizard creature. When Gataxian Anatomist enters the battlefield, you may tap it if you do proliferate. Just when it enters the battlefield? That's strange. I guess you want to blink this as many times as possible, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love it. Next up, we've got Gataxian Raptor. 
Two and a blue for a 1-4 for Phyrexian bird creature with flying. Phyrexian raptor enters the battlefield with three oil counters on it. Remove an oil counter from Gataxian raptor, and it gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. So you could potentially make it a 4-1 if you remove all three oil counters from it. That's not great. Next up, we've got Glistener Seer. One blue for an O3 Phyrexian Advisor. It enters the battlefield with three oil counters on it. Tap it, remove an oil counter, scry one. But that's okay. In limited for sure. In limited for sure. Constructed, uh, not so much, but uh, in limited, that's a pretty good card. <clears throat> Icker Synthesizer. One and a blue for a 1 3 Phyrexian Wizard creature. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put an oil counter on Synthesizer. As long as Synthesizer has four or more, more oil counters on it, it gets plus two, plus O, oh, and can't be blocked. So if you get it up to four oil counters, it's a 3-3 three, three that can't be blocked. That's not bad. Next up, we've got Ickermoon Gauntlet. Two and a blue for an artifact, mythic rare artifact. Uh, planeswalkers you control have plus zero proliferate and minus 12 take an extra turn after this one that is that is amazing uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell choose a counter on target permanent put an additional counter of that kind on that permanent so not only do you get two additional um Two additional abilities on your Planeswalkers, but every time you cast a non-creature spell, you can put another loyalty counter on a Planeswalker to get to that minus 12 even faster. That is a powerful card. That is a powerful card. And that art of Tamiyo with this gauntlet is just amazing. Next up, we've got Jace, the Perfected Mind. Jace did not survive the invasion of New Phyrexia. So Jace the Perfected Mind is two, a blue, and a Phyrexian blue for a five loyalty legendary planeswalker. And it's completed, so you can pay two life or blue to pay the Phyrexian mana cost. Plus one ability is until your next turn, up to one target creature gets minus three, minus O. Oh. Minus two, target player mills three cards. Then if a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, you may draw three cards. Otherwise, you draw a card. And then minus X, target player mills three times X cards. So if you pay four mana to cast Jace and then immediately do minus five, then your opponent mills 15 cards. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If you play Jace, you have something else that proliferates. You can put an extra counter on it. So you can, you know, get Jace up to plus uh, six loyalty. And then you minus five. So Jace survives at one loyalty. And your opponent mills 15 cards. I think there's going to be a fun little mill deck in blue. Whether, okay, whether or not mill um, is actually viable and constructed is yet to be seen there's not a ton of milling going on so far we're only halfway through blue right now so we'll have to wait and see but with the power that jace has with his minus ability even his minus two ability like being able to mill someone for three cards and then draw three cards is pretty amazing um so i think this jace is pretty powerful um but whether or not mill is an actual viable Play in Constructed is yet to be seen. In Limited, Jace is obviously going to be a high priority pickup if you're in blue. Um, next up, we've got Malkator's Watcher. One and a blue for a 1-1 Phyrexian Drone with Flying and Vigilance. Malkator's Watcher dies. Draw a card. This is a pretty good card. Uh, blue doesn't get Vigilance very often, so this is pretty awesome. Um, and you get to draw a card, which is very blue. Uh, I like it. Next up, we've got Meldweb Curator. That's a cool piece of art. Uh, three and a blue for a 3-4 Phyrexian Wizard creature. 
When Meldweb Curator enters the battlefield, put up to one target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Four mana for a 3-4, plus you get to bring uh, an instant or sorcery back up to the top. Uh, that's I like that. Next up, we've got Meldweb Strider. Four and a blue for an artifact vehicle with five power, five toughness. And Vigilance, again, blue with the Vigilance. That's pretty cool. Uh, Meldweb Strider enters the battlefield with an oil counter on it. Remove an oil counter from Meldweb Strider. It becomes an artifact creature until end of turn, and it has crew three. So the crew cost is fairly low, which is pretty good. But on top of that, as long as you keep proliferating oil counters onto Meldweb Strider, um, you can always remove them and it becomes a 5-5 five five without having to crew it. I like that a lot. Then we've got Mercurial Spell Dancer. Very cool piece of art uh, by Marcella Bolivar. Uh, Spell Dancer is one and a blue for a 2-1 Phyrexian Rogue. Yes, new rogues. Uh, Spell Dancer can't be blocked. Love it. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put an oil counter on Spell Dancer. When a Spell Dancer deals combat damage to a player, you may, remo you may remove two oil counters from it. If you do, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So you have to hit with it. You have to remove two oil counters from it. But it's almost a free duplication spell. That's um, awesome. That's pretty cool. I like that. Next up, we've got Mesmerizing Doze. Dose? One blue blue for an enchantment aura. Enchant creature. When Mesmerizing Dose enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature, then proliferate. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. This is the bread and butter of control magic. Um, board estate control is sometimes superior to counter magic and mesmerizing dose seems like the perfect addition not only do you get to tap something and lock it down but you get to proliferate and it's one cheaper than previous versions of this sort of card i like it and then we've got mind splice apparatus three and a blue for an artifact with flash at the beginning of your next upkeep put an oil counter on mind sorry not next at the beginning of your upkeep, put an oil counter on Mind Splice Apparatus. Instance and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast for each oil counter on Mind Splice Apparatus. So this is Haughty Jin as an artifact, and I love it. Especially because it has Flash, you can cast it on your opponent's end step. Immediately get one more oil counter on it, and things get cheaper. I think, like, I might replace Haughty Jin with this. This is really cool. I like this a lot. Uh, next up, we've got Minor Misstep, which is uh, kind of a play on an older card. Um, minor Misstep is one blue mana for an instant counter target spell with mana value one or less. It's restricted, but, uh, you know, Minor Misstep is, is nice to have one copy of, or maybe two copies of, in Constructed. I think you take this in limited for sure. If you're planning on playing counter magic, I think there's enough one mana stuff. But it also says or less. So if someone manages to cast something for free, uh, you can also counter it. I like that. Next up, we've got Prologue to Phyresis. Phyresis? One and a blue for an instant opponent. Each opponent gets a poison counter and you get to draw a card. That's not bad. If you're, if you're struggling to get the poison counter ball rolling on your opponents, uh, this is a nice little addition to your deck. You get one free one, and you get to draw a card for two mana. Next up, we've got Quicksilver Fisher. This is the, the art style on this card by Philip Berberan. Kind of is reminiscent of the like original Mirrodin block art. It's very cool. Quicksilver Fisher is 3 blue blue for a 4-3 Phyrexian Drake creature with flying. 
When the Quicksilver Fisher enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. Okay, that's just not great. That's not a great card. Not that great. Uh, reject Imperfection. One blue blue for an instant counter target spell. If that spell's mana value was three or less, then proliferate. That's pretty good. You, you want as many options and opportunities to proliferate as possible. Um, and having a one blue blue counter target spell is something that's been standard in magic for a while and this just adds a little bit extra on top of that power creep you know then we've got serum snare one in a blue for an instant return target and online permanent to its owner's hand if that permanent had mana value three or less then proliferate so this is fading hope but instead of scrying you get to proliferate i think this is fantastic um i have to rethink my entire I have a um, modern deck, or it might be a legacy. That's just all art, blue artifacts, um, infect creatures. And I have to rethink all of my supporting spells. This is great. I love this card. Next up, we've got Tamiyo's Immobilizer. Three and a blue for an artifact. Tamiyo's Immobilizer enters the battlefield with four oil counters on it. Remove an oil counter from a Tamiyo's Immobilizer. Tap target artifact or creature. It's not bad. It's not great. Uh, then we've got Tamiyo's Logbook. So we've got Jace's Eyeballs. Staring. I don't know if these are the ones attached to Jace, but Jace has a bunch of new eyeballs. Uh, two and a blue for an artifact, then you pay six, five and a blue, tap it, draw a card. This ability costs one less to activate for each other artifact you control. So it could just be one blue, draw a card. One blue, tap, draw a card. And I don't mind that. I think that's worth it eventually. Um, but yeah, there's better ways to draw. Then we've got Tekuth Tekuthal Inquiry Dominus. So this is the blue Dominus card. Two blue blue for a 3-5 Phyrexian Horror legendary creature with flying. If you would proliferate, proliferate twice instead. Amazing. Love, love, love this. Hyper toxic. I love it. Then you can play one and then two blue Phyrexian mana. Remove three counters from among other artifact creatures and planeswalkers you control and put an indestructible counter on Tekathul. Tekuthal 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 I'll get it eventually This is a very cool card uh, 4 mana That's making the cut for sure um, We're obviously going to be brewing A Demir control deck With Toxic in mind So being able to proliferate twice Get our planeswalkers up Um you know, we could even include this in our Jace, the Perfected Mind deck. So we're growing his loyalty counters up to mill more cards eventually. I think that's pretty powerful. Next up, we've got Thrumming Bird. One in a blue for a 1-1 Phyrexian Bird Horror Creature with flying. Whenever Thrumming Bird deals combat damage to a player, proliferate. That's pretty fun. Transplant Theorist, three and a blue for a 2-4 Phyrexian Artificer, Artifact Creature. Whenever a Transplant Theorist or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Um, that's not bad. Pay two, put a target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but... Uh, sure next up we've got trawler drake two and a blue for a zero zero phyrexian drake three mana for a zero zero sounds bunk but let's keep reading it has flying trawler drake enters the battlefield with an oil counter on it trawler drake gets plus one plus one for each oil counter on it whenever you cast a non-creature spell put an oil counter on trawler drake so it's perpetually getting bigger as long as you keep Casting non-creature spells or proliferating. I think that's pretty powerful. Three mana. 
uh, creature that's a 1-1 with flying that, you know, very quickly can become, you know, a 5-5, a 6-6. I think that's pretty cool. Then we've got Unctis Grand Metatech. One blue blue for a 2-4 Phyrexian Veldal Vidalcan, legendary artifact creature. Other blue creatures you control have whenever this creature becomes tapped, draw a card, then discard a card. Other artifact creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And then for one blue Phyrexian mana, until end of turn, target creature you control becomes a blue artifact. In addition to its other color types, activate only as a sorcery. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I feel like there's some fun to be had with Unctus. Just feel bad about the name. Unctus is not very cool sounding name. Yeah, this isn't the no the the white one was. Okay, hold on. We're jumping back to white for a second. That extremely oppressive white mythic card. Um. Was a vindicator okay so they're not the same thing um i got a little worried there i was a little worried that they shafted blue on the p super powerful phyrexian horror um but i don't think this guy is the same thing he's all right uh i really don't mind him Unctus's Retrofitter is next. Two and a blue for a 2-3 Phyrexian Artificer creature with Toxic 1. Uh, when a Retrofitter enters the battlefield, up to one target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness 4-4 four, four, for as long as you control Retrofitter. Oh, wait. So for as long as Retrofitter remains on the battlefield. That's pretty neat. It animates an artifact you have. Then we've got Vivisurgeon's Insight. Three blue blue for a sorcery. Draw three cards, then proliferate. That's really expensive. Um, but, you know, draw three cards for five is almost doable on its own. So draw three cards and proliferate is, is pretty, pretty decent, I would say. Um, you know, I, I would have one of these in your deck. If you're planning on drawing a lot. The last blue card we have is Watchful Blisterzoa. Blisterzoa. Four blue blue for a 4-4 four, four Phyrexian Jellyfish with flying. Jellyfish can't fly. Watchful Blisterzoa enters the battlefield with an oil counter on it. When Watchful Blisterzoa dies... Draw cards equal to the number of oil counters on it. Six mana for a 4-4 four, four flyer that eventually could draw you like three or four cards when it dies if you're proliferating a bunch. That is okay. It's not great. It's very expensive. You're never going to put this card in your standard deck, I don't think. This might turn into a limited bomb might but i highly doubt it um and that's it for blue i'm really excited for blue i think there's lots of really neat things happening here i like blue sun's twilight i like uh counter spells with some twists um you know obviously we're going to be putting in um a lot of really cool stuff that helps us scry that helps us sneak past um i really love spell dancer i think that's really neat i think stuff like mind splice apparatus is going to be huge 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 and constructed um and is going to be a limited bomb for sure uh serum snare is also amazing uh, the dominus card in blue is fantastic uh and jace Jace is a cool card. I think that there is a very good chance that Mill is an archetype we can focus on, but we will have to see. Um, and then obviously Ikermoon Gauntlet that affects all of your Planeswalkers. 
this card's gonna shake up all the formats. I think this is gonna play really well in Commander. I think this is gonna play really well um, in you know legacy formats in Standard. Obviously, going to be a potential bomb in Limited. Even if you ignore the Planeswalker stuff, the whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put an additional like proliferate on one thing. I think that is good enough to be included in a limited deck. Um, and then if you have Planeswalkers already in your limited deck, this is a no brainer. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited to be a fan of blue uh, coming into Phyrexia. All will be one. I think there's a lot that piques my interest here. There's a lot of really cool stuff to build around. There's a lot of stuff I can swap out uh, in existing decks already. So 